What a strange AK! What? Rob, this is not AK. This is uh, the VZ58 from the Czech Republic. This one really is from the Czech Republic. It's made by the company Czech Small Arms, CSA. And as you can see, uh, it is completely pimped, right? <laughs> Ready to rock and roll. Uh, but uh, even in the sporter version, this uh, rifle comes with the uh, addition of the uh, M4 stock and uh, you got the side rail already mounted. So if you got the RS regulate system for it and RS regulate makes a special uh, side rail compatible uh, optics for the VZ, you can mount it and it's, it's, here we got basically our annihilator package. So uh, this is what you can rock and roll with the 3X scope on it. And at the end, that's a Zhukov uh, stock. But as I said, even in a sporting configuration, they do have uh, different kinds or blends of M4 stocks. But uh, what they got originally on it was, uh, I, I really didn't like that stock. <laughs> but then you got uh, the pistol grip, high speed <laughs> pistol grip. And I have to tell you guys the dirty, dirty a little secret. This rifle is absolutely a blast to shoot. Yes, you hear me. This rifle is an absolutely blast to shoot. Tons of fun. It has milled receiver, so uh, and, but it's not as heavy, uh, and it really handles very, very well. Well, the barrel is made in Germany. This is the kind of interesting fact. The uh, Czech uh, guys went to Germany and la asked the company uh, Luf Walter uh, for producing the barrel for that VZ58 model. And I have to tell you that the barrel is absolutely amazing. It shoots very, very accurately. So what it means uh, for us right now, uh, this is the beginning of uh, the 5000 rounds test. Uh, you guys were always asking me about adding the VZ58 or putting through the paces. And thanks to the great friend uh, Mishako from uh, the Ozarks Bear Arms from Arkansas, I purchased this rifle. Uh, he hooked me up with six magazines and so uh, we're going to rock and roll uh, the test. And I'm very excited about it. This is something what I'm looking towards, as you can see, this is a completely different uh, design. Some people are saying that the uh, VZ58 is like AK, but honestly, guys, uh, just look even the magazine, how the magazine is looking like. We'll take a picture, Sula, later uh, so they can see it. But even the magazines are completely different and you cannot really use the AK magazines in those rifles. Uh, they just look similar. Also, the rifle kind of looks similar, but it's not. It's, it's the ga guts are completely different. Uh, and uh, the front post, hooded front post, that is actually compatible with uh, the AK design. And then, of course, the slider on the back uh, for the rear sides. Uh, so that is somehow similar to what uh, the AK has and does. Uh, but uh, Everything almost inside, it is kind of different. Of course, the pistol grip and the fire control group is different as well. Even you see how you are operating the safety mechanism. And uh, this is basically fire position. And now you're rotating the lever to save. So you don't have that extended safety as uh, we do have on AK rifles. Uh, but uh, let me go back to shooting for a second. Yeah, as you can see, with the exception of one shot, which I pulled, uh, you can really have a blast on that uh, rifle. And uh, I think we have to focus on what you can do with it at the extended ranges, uh, because uh, they 
really put a lot of attention to that barrel and if we can squeeze uh, something out of it i want to see how this rifle can uh, be used for example for hunting that would be very interesting uh, to know on a coyotes and things like this i think there is a lot of potential uh, but uh, other than this it's a pure blast speaking about the guts inside uh, let me uh, clear it of course chamber is clear and i will remove that optic and you guys can see it with your own eyes what i meant by saying that even the basic stuff is totally different than AK. So check this out. So here you got like a takedown pin for the dust cover. So you're basically pushing this out. Okay. And now you can you can pull the dust cover and remove it. See? So that's completely different from AK system. The whole fire control group, as I said, that is totally different solution as well. That's something what, uh, what is uh, like completely different. It's not even close. So that is cool. Now you're pulling this bolt carrier and this is basically bolt carrier with bolt. Really like small pieces and boom you, it's very simple disassembly process you can see it on the mushrooms <laughs> and there you go guys this is how that build receiver looks inside so the rifle also has the bolt hold open uh, on the last shot so it's holding the bolt carrier and that's why this mechanism here it's a little bit more complicated, but it's still very simple function, uh, functionality and usage. So I have to give it to the guys uh, from the Czech Republic. They really did the cool uh, stuff with it. I, I'll, price was, guys, I paid around $1,200 for it. And I think that this rifle was worth every penny. Uh, I'm kicking myself. I'm at the point where I'm kicking myself for not picking it up uh, before. I'm really so happy with it from, you know, I, I ran around already and that, that's, that's not going to count towards the test, but I will tell you that I ran uh, already around uh, probably 300 rounds. And I think so it's, it's a blast to shoot. It's absolutely fun to shoot. And the, the rifle is really cool. And there you go. I forgot to show you this is uh, that uh, it's not the gas tube like uh, on AK, but this is something what is uh, holding, uh, protecting that piston uh, on the VZ. So totally different design. Like I, I honestly don't understand why the people are saying that uh, you know they're like AKs. It's a completely different rifle, and uh, and and it should be fun, as I said. So keep watching a series. Uh, you, we we really uh, this should be very interesting i'm curious at this point i'm extremely curious how this rifle will handle all the challenges and uh, what the what the strengths or weaknesses will be but it shapes to be a very interesting uh, series so if you have any questions please let me know uh, thanks for watching as always and uh, we'll we'll start kicking this uh, can <laughs> around guys <laughs>